Bye, Logan. Okay, so welcome everybody to our new consultant class tonight. My name is Bonnie Alexander and I'm a star director with TriStar and we are so excited to have you with us here in Tupperware. Um, so the first thing I'm going to ask you is if you have your kit, if you received your box of materials, you want to grab that. You, would, you might like to go through the Getting Started Guide with us. We're going to go through this booklet. You also would have received a career guide, and we're not really going to go through that tonight. That would be another topic, but we're really going to go through um, the Getting Started Guide, and then we're also going to be talking about the Confidence Start Program, which is your first 13 weeks. So welcome, everybody, to the call tonight. And you might want to have a paper and pencil or have that book out and a pen so you can jot some things down. Um, one thing we would like you to be thinking about right now is why did you come into Tupperware? Did you come into Tupperware to make a little money? Did you come into Tupperware to make a lot of money? Did you come in for the products or the discount? What of those things did you come in for? Because none of them is a wrong answer. We're happy to have you for whatever reason. And maybe for many of you, the answer is I came in for several of those things. And that's great too. So be thinking about that. Why did you come in? And the goals are the same, whether you came in for the personal discount or if you came in to make money. And the first goal for you is to do at least $250 in your first 30 days because we want you to get active. And of course, when you do 500 in this month, before the end of the sales month, you'll also get your activation award. So that's a big thing. And a smaller goal to get you started, because we want you to make money this week right now, and that might be overwhelming to you to have a number. How about just collecting five orders in five days? So there's a lot of different things that you can do to get started. So grab your Getting Started book here. We're going to open that up. And the first thing you're going to see is the mission statement. And I love this part of the book because Tupperware really reaches out to you and tells you a lot about what they want for us as a company and to help all of us be successful. And one of the quotes that you're going to see a lot is think big, start small, but begin now. And that is huge in the world of Tupperware. So I hope that you'll take some time to go right through this guide and read all of the details. On the next page, it tells you um, about some stuff that came in your kit, all the pieces that came in your kit, including some of the books that we're talking about right now. And Brandy's going to talk to you in a few minutes about your calendar, your date book, and we hope that you are using um, that as well. And then we have our products. And these are all the products that you have um, that you would have received in your kit. So hopefully that is something that um, you have taken some time. And if you don't have your kit yet, that's okay. Um, but this booklet will actually take you through. And I love the word choices. Um, people sometimes are always very concerned about um, what to say about the products. And the first thing that we'll tell you is get them out of the box and use them because you can't hurt it. You can't break it. That's the great thing about Tupperware. So get them out and use it and then read the descriptions here so that you know what to say. I mean, I just love that on the measuring cups. The measuring cups are embossed so measurements won't fade. And it even has those hard to find sizes. If you would just go through here, it's great for left or right handed people. Go through here. This gives you some great tips and things to say when you're talking to people. So take a look at all of this and my goodness, start using this stuff right here because it is fabulous. And then you can go digital. We can go digital in Tupperware. There's lots of ways that you can learn. Of course, in-person meetings are always great. Your directors, um, we have the TriStar rallies. There's lots of meetings you can attend. And then we also have some um, conference calls on Tuesday nights. And we've got some new consultant trainings that we would love you to participate in. But on this page, it tells you about the website. And it's my.tupperware.com. That's your consultant Salesforce site where you're going to find everything that you need to know. Everything there is on my.tupperware.com. And every week, you should be signed up and receiving the My Week email, which tells you about all the promotions, all the sales, all the hostess information, all of that is in that My Week email. So we would really encourage you to make sure that you are listening to that My Week email. And a lot of times you'll see it posted on the, um, the, the Facebook pages if you're part if you're part of all of our Facebook pages. So that's a really good thing for you to be part of, but we'll post that and it's also in your email. As long as when you signed up, you, you gave your recruiter your email address, you should be getting that every Saturday. 
And then you can get the Tup Hub, which is the smartphone app. So you can see a lot of stuff through Tup Hub. You can also be looking stuff up online as far as the promotions, the catalogs, the sale brochures. There's a lot of information you can get right off that Tupperware app for your smartphone. And of course, the party is where it's happening. That's the where you're going to make the most amount of money for the least amount of time. And we're all about the home party. And you can also, of course, do Facebook parties. And as you are doing those home parties, you have people who can't attend the party. So that's where you can have your hostess collecting orders and you can actually Tupper connect those parties. So I have a party that's next week, but this week is ending the current sales promotions and some of her friends want to place orders. So we need to enter those orders this week. So I can Tupper connect her party, enter the orders from the sales that are um, ending this week, and then at her party next week, she will get host credit on that. Now you do need to have a paid website to make that happen. And we're gonna talk about that more in a few minutes and your recruiter and your director can also help you if you have more questions. Plus we have the Party Plus application that if you get the higher package, you can do. So this meeting tonight is called Zoom. That is Party Plus. So with the higher paid website, you actually have this technology right here that you can set up. And if you were all at my Tupperware party, um, or if you were guests at my hostess, I'm at my hostess's home, you are online because you couldn't make it. Your kids are sick. You live too far away. Whatever the reason might be, you can't make it. But you really want to listen. You want to see the demo. Well, she could set this exact Zoom meeting up. And your friends and family can join in online and talk and ask questions and actually see what's going on. It's much better than just looking at the catalog or the website. So that's the um, Party Plus application that you can do. And with social media, there is lots of things that you can do. There's also some things you can't do. So if you go onto the consultant website under um, social media, you will see a list of the do's and don'ts. And also on the TriStar New Consultant Info Group, there's a list of those as well. We try and duplicate a lot of um, our training on Facebook so it's easy for you to find or we can direct you to it really quickly because sometimes things change. Now, if you're following along in your book, if you want to go to page 10, it talks about goal setting and we are all about goal setting in the world of Tupperware and we want you to be thinking, remember that first question I asked you, why did you come into Tupperware? I would love for you to write it down at the very top of this page. Why did you come into Tupperware? To make a little money? To make a lot of money? For the personal discount? To sell to your family and friends? Or a combination? What did you come into Tupperware for? So go ahead and write it down right there at the top of that screen. And then as you look at your booklet here, you'll see that it talks to you about um, list three to five things you most want out of your Tupperware career. So what do you want out of Tupperware? Is Tupperware a way for you to have your own business and make money and be successful? Is Tupperware a way that you can make money to get a down payment for a home that you have been dreaming about? Is Tupperware not necessarily what you want your career to be? You just need the income to get you to that summer vacation or get you to um, paying off a, a certain bill that is just dragging you down. So there's lots of things that you can do with Tupperware and it can get you to what you want to be. And then keep your eye on the prize. You, you know, what, what do you want to get out of it? What inspires you? What are you focused on? So there's lots of ways that we want to help you be accountable and filling this page out is one of them. And on this page, it also helps you to break down if you um, know, know how much money you want to make, it actually gives you this chart so you can put in there, I want to make $100 a week, $200 a week, $500 a week, $1,000 a week. How much money do you want to make? And it helps you to break it down so you can figure up your paycheck. And remember, we have a sale brochure that's ending. This one is going on right now. We always have our sale brochures and they go middle of the month to middle of the month. So we're coming up on the end of the second week. And so our current brochure is ending. So my challenge to you is to get five orders before this brochure right here closes. And one of the products in here is the Power Chef system, which you all have in your kit. And did you know that's the number one selling product in the United States? It sure is. That is the highest grossing product that we sell. It's the most popular and that's what everybody wants. And you all have one. So I hope that you will get out there and talk to people about Tupperware, make them up um, some vegetable pizza, make them some salsa, some fruit salsa, make a milkshake in here. Tell everybody how great this is 
and they'll be excited and they can join you in the business because my goodness, if you're going to spend $50, spend 99 with $39 down and join us in Tupperware, get our amazing micro crow grill for only $49, $45 and get this, or you can just buy this by itself. That's okay too, but this is a great product. So I'm challenging all of you to get at least five orders out of this brochure. And if you check out your Facebook pages, um, your emails from Tupperware, the My Week email, it tells you all the stuff that's ending, gives you some great tips on all the products in here. So my challenge to you is to collect at least five orders before Friday because we want you to make money right now. How many of you want to make money right now, this week? You need a paycheck this week. Say yes, absolutely. You guys want to make money. The way you make money is sell product. And you don't have to be a salesperson. You just need to be a teacher. Teach them how to use Tupperware and how it can help them save time, money, space, taste, and waste. Share what you love about the products. And we're giving you the word choices right here in your getting started guide. So you can go out and share that and you will just watch your business explode. So fill out your goals. And I challenge you to share that with your recruiter and your director or manager as well. Now, on the next page, on page 11, it goes through the one-to-one -one success plan. And we want you to be successful, and we want to help you be successful by giving you a plan. So here's the plan. You're looking to hold one party every week. You're trying to date two parties from every party that you are holding, and you're looking to find at least one person to join you in Tupperware from each one of those parties. And we're going to give you some tips on how to find those people, too. And it can be someone that you just love to be around somebody who was so much fun somebody who knew about everything or maybe it's the person who didn't have any money and didn't even place an order she needs us she needs financial help from us and we can help her make money so she can buy the things that she wants for herself and her family so that's your your success plan we're looking for you to find one party every single week that you want to hold one party every single week date two parties from every party and then of course be looking for at least one person at every party to invite to join you and tupperware and there's also some great helpful hints because when people come to your tupperware party and they're talking about talking to you and they're having fun and they're learning they're going to come back so when they learn they will return and come back and see you. Um, and you always want to leave them wanting more. Don't talk about every single thing on the table because they're going to say, oh my gosh, she talked about everything she brought. There's nothing left for me to learn. I don't need to go to another Tupperware party because she thinks you taught her everything. So even if you're bringing lots of stuff, um, and by that I don't mean like three trips in, okay? <laughs> you want to make it very simple. But don't necessarily talk about every single thing you brought. You always want to want them um, wanting to know a little bit more and have fun because if you're having fun, your guests are having fun and they're going to be ready to join you at another party, join you in the business, host a party, or just come back as a, um, as another customer for someone else. So remember back when we talked at the very beginning about starting small, think big, start small, but begin now. Okay, well, let's start small. Let's make this easy. And we're talking about your first 30 days in Tupperware the first 30 days, and ta-da, you have this great checklist. Isn't this fantastic? Tupperware has everything in here to set yourself up for success in your first 30 days, and we want you to create some kind of schedule that works for you and your family, because this is a business that can really work around anyone. So in your first 30 days, we want you to go through this checklist. Observe a training party. Maybe you were recruited at a party, maybe you weren't, but we want you to get back and watch another party, whether it's your recruiter, your manager, another team member, your director, get out there and watch them do a party. Maybe they would even Zoom a party so that you can watch it online if you are a distance away. Attend new consultant class. And we have our next new consultant class coming up on Saturday, February the 24th at Dave and Cheryl's home. So we hope that you will attend that. Um, invite your new people, go down and see them, and Cheryl will teach you lots of great stuff at that new consultant success. And we hope that you'll put the calendar in your date book. Um, when you get that date book out of your kit, we want you to make sure you put your meetings in there because you know what? When you show up, you go up in this business. And the more you learn, the more you earn. And if you're here for money, you want to show up at the meetings. If you're here for fun, you want to show up at the meetings. You want to have some girlfriend time. You want to talk to some people that are positive and uplifting. You need to come to the meetings because they're great, they're fun, and everybody feels better after they've been to a Tupperware meeting, whether it's rally or your team party or a consultant success class, come out and give us a try and just check it out. 
even if you're only here for that discount, you only came in to get the fantastic product, come and meet us and let us have some fun with you. And you never know, you might want more and maybe you're not, but at least you'll have that experience. So make sure you show up um, at one of our director or your team events. So then we want you to make sure you get the products out of your kit, okay? Please don't be one of those consultants who in a month, you're like, oh yeah, I got my kit, it's, it's over here in the box. No, your fruits and vegetables are dying as we speak. You gotta get that fridge smart out, get your veggies in there and throw it in the fridge. You need to whip up some um, banana bread and your little breakfast maker, make your family omelets, uh, make a milkshake, do a blizzard. There's so many great things that you can do with those products. Get them out and start using it. My goodness, our spatula, heat resistant up to 450 degrees, and it's a great paddle in your kitchen. So if anybody's misbehaving, man, they're going to behave when they're in your kitchen. So you don't want to miss out on these amazing products. So get out there and use those. And then we want you to, um, after you've been testing that your products, we want you to start talking um, to people about you, your Frank um, list, your T-Zone. Brandy's going to talk to you more about that in a few minutes. And make sure you get logged into the customer or your, con your consultant website. Sorry, guys, I'm fighting a cold. My brain's just not working very well. Um, you want to get into your consultant website. And if you haven't logged in yet, um, I really encourage you to talk to your recruiter, your manager, or your director so that we can help you because the Tupperware site that we talked about earlier is full of lots and lots of great training information. And we sure hope that you will log in get into your account and start checking out everything that's there. And we want you to know how to place orders. So that's really important. You can't make money if you don't get your orders placed. So you wanna do that. And then also sign up for your Tupperware card and schedule that activation party within the next five to seven days. If you have ordered your kit, if you have received your kit and you do not have some kind of activation event planned, you need to do that because we need you to get active right away. We want you to work towards placing your first order so you can get that great coupon that you received for joining. Um, if you came in this month, you got the, um, you're getting the coupon for the Micro Pro Grill. If you came in last month, you got the coupon for the multi cooker. So when you place your first order, you can redeem your coupons. So we need you to get active. When you place your first order, you can redeem your coupons as well. And then also you have your track your progress chart. And this is to help you really get your calendar going, get your meetings in there, your training scheduled, your conference calls that you want to jump on. Like last night on Tuesday night, we had our TriStar call. You want to make sure you get on and get all that in your date book and your family events, your birthdays, your appointments, all of that. Put that in your um, schedule so you know exactly when you have time to do the Tupperware party. Okay. Then as you go through your getting started guide, it starts showing you some recipes. And I love the fact that they break it down. They tell you what all the pieces are called. They give you some great recipes to get started. And you're even using more of the products in your kit. So Tupperware has really set us up for success with these super simple recipes, um, the smoothies, the yogurt, the frittatas, um, lots of great things that you can do. And then it takes you to building your contact list. So before we turn it over to Brandy, does anyone have a question for me on anything we've talked about so far? No questions? Okay, well then we are going to switch it over to Miss Brandy and she's gonna come on and continue um, going through your Getting Started Guide. So take it away, Brandy. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to talk about here is Frank. And if you know a guy named Frank, make sure you date him too, like as in a Tupperware party. Um, but Frank is your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances, your neighbors, and your kids' friends' parents. So you want to make sure that you're hitting all of those different people that you maybe don't even think about. Um, and right now I want you to grab a piece of paper if you have one close by and I want you to jot down a couple of names, jot down a couple of friends, you know, jot down a couple of relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and your kids as friends like their parents. And if you don't have kids, maybe you want to jot down some of your parents' friends. Okay. Just different spin on there. And then also you want to make sure to include in this your T-zone. And I'm not talking about this oily part of your face right here, folks. 
I'm talking about your neighbors. Okay. Have you talked to the people in front of you? Have you talked to the people on both sides? How about the people behind you? I feel like I'm directing an airplane, but you want to make sure you get them all. So be sure that, and after you've gotten your immediate neighbors, then go to the ones outside of those and outside of those. So you're constantly working that T zone. And who, I know you guys were all jotting down while I was talking. Show of hands, just raise your hand up. Who wrote some people down? Yes? Okay, fantastic. See, you're well on your way to making things happen. Uh, so always be adding to that list. We have door price slips that I use at my parties to get some names because not everybody orders at my parties. Does that happen a lot? No, but sometimes I just get somebody that they just can't afford it, afford Tupperware that night. They're on a budget and maybe they're going to date a party to help their friend, but they didn't fill an order form out for me. So they fill out a door price slip. And I use these to constantly update my wonderful 100 is why I like to call it, but your list of people that you keep track of. And I use that in an Excel spreadsheet so I can search up here too. And then also Bonnie mentioned earlier, we were talking about the my dot Tupperware plan. Everybody gets a, pay, a website to where we can go in, in and in our Tupperware orders from our parties where we can do all of that stuff. We have different levels of that. And at the silver plan um, is where you get to add the Tupper Connect parties. And that's your paid website. Guys, I highly recommend that right there, that level. Because inevitably you're going to have somebody that can't attend the party and maybe they're an online shopper. You want to be able to give them the link to go on and shop. I can tell you, I probably do in an average month, a good $200 to $300 of sales. Um, and that's an average month. Sometimes it's more on Tupper Connect. So you really want to add that for those added on sales. It can make the difference in a party. Sometimes I'll have three and $400 in one party. So you want to make sure that you're giving your guests that option because they just maybe feel more comfortable adding the credit card online and having it shipped to them. They don't want to trouble anybody. So that's definitely where I might recommend you start. If you want the zoom, then go ahead and add the silver. Um, and that's great for trainings as well. And then you can go on up to the gold and the platinum levels, but definitely make sure you're looking at that plus level. Then we also have a Tupperware card and I don't know if it still looks like this because well, I'm a seasoned Tupperware lady not as seasoned as some other ones, but this is what mine looks like. And um, what happens there is that you can get your deposits put directly onto there. So if you're not wanting that paper check, you want to make sure that you're linking this account to a separate bank account. And then all of your direct deposits can go straight into this account so that you don't have to wait on that check to come in the mail. Okay. Um, and it just kind of walks you right through on that page what to do. And if you have any questions, you know, we have our, all of our sites. You're more than welcome to help us. And somebody will always have an answer for you. Right, wrong, or indifferent, we will tell you something. And <laughs> we also um, have a challenge here in your um, book to collect 100 no's. Now, you might be thinking, 100 no's? Why would you want me to do that? Well, the logic behind that is, guess what? In all the years in this business, I have never had a hundred straight people say no to me. You're going to get yeses. And if you've maybe gotten through, I would say 10 to 15 no's without a yes, maybe get your upline director, your manager, your recruiter, and talk with them and maybe talk about some word choices and how they can help you. But I promise you, you cannot collect 100 no's straight if you're asking somebody to um, host a party for you or even start at the top. What I like to do is when I'm collecting my no's, I first like to ask them to join me in the business. Oh my gosh, we have this great grill right now. And tonight I made chicken with garlic on top. Oh my gosh, my garlic was grilled and my chicken was grilled and I did it in seven minutes. It was amazing. 
So they want to join me because we have the grill for $45. And if they say no to that, then I say, well, I would love to get you and your girlfriends together to show you how the grill works so that you can love it as much as me. I have next Tuesday and Thursday open. So always start at the top, work your way down. Um, but go for collecting those no's on the parties. And then after you get somebody to say yes, because they will. And so that you know, this webcam is in a weird spot. Bear with me if you think I'm crazy tonight. That's normal. Anyway, um, as you, when you get your say yes, there are on page 25, there's just this quick um, little pre-party thing to go to. Guys, so many, I hear it so many times. Oh my gosh, I have a Tupperware party. Well, when is it? Well, I don't know. We haven't set a date yet. The date's the most important part of the party. That's how it gets started. So if you don't have a date, you don't have a party. So you want to definitely get the date and get it in your date book. You want to give the hostess a selection of those recipes that you had. And if you have the grill, there's lots of um, recipes on our website too that you can share with them and give them a host party folder and plan their party with them. You want to give them outside order forms. You want to give them maybe a challenge of some sort um, to earn some extra free gifts from you. You want to give them three to four catalogs and brochures. So they're collecting those outside orders to help build that party. And um, then you want to call your host and check in periodically. Maybe um, you want to call her during the day if you know she's at work because you don't necessarily need to have a response from her. You just want to say, hey, Bonnie, I was just um, touching base with you. I'm super excited. I hope you're talking to your friends and that they're all excited about coming. And then I always like to make sure I talk to them at least 24 hours before the party so that we can solidify. But I'll just leave them on that message. If you have any questions, give me a call so they know I'm checking in, but that I, they also don't need to talk to me if they don't need to talk to me. Because I have had it happen to where somebody has said, if you would have called me more than the actual time I talked to you in a few voicemails, I would have been discouraged. So that gives them the opportunity to get back with you too. And then you also want to prep your host um, with everything she needs, including the say yes offer. Because who loves Tupperware more than your hostesses, right? So you want to be including that in what you're giving them too. And before you go, you want to make sure that when you're at that party, people can pick you out as the Tupperware lady. What do I mean by that? You want to have some sort of professional attire on and no holy jeans, no cut off muscle shirts. You know, you don't want to look like you're headed to the gym. Um, and maybe that just means a pair of black pants, a white top and your apron. You want to make sure that people can pick you out though as the Tupperware lady. And maybe you like to wear jeans, but dress those jeans up with a nice heel and a dressy top. There's different ways to stand out at your party and make sure they know that you are the Tupperware lady. And then it's coming to the day of the party. Yay! And so there's just a little guide on page 27 on how you can kind of run your parties. I always recommend getting there about 30 minutes early so that you can get set up. What that gives me is, does it take me 30 minutes to put my Tupperware out? No. I have been doing this for, oh, it was seven years on February 4th I've been with Tupperware. I don't need 30 minutes to set it up. I can do it in about 10 to 12 minutes and it looks professional. I need those other 15 minutes to talk with people. Maybe I'm talking to the hostess's best friend or maybe I'm talking to her sister. I'm getting to talking to them about dating parties, getting to know the people in her life as well. And then you want to go on. Um, to kind of start right there um, a half an hour after you get there. So let's say the party starts at six. Um, you want to do um, maybe an introduction of yourself and the guests as they're coming in, and then you're going to get into the actual demo. And one thing I really want to stress off of this, uh, two things. You always need to invite everybody to join you in this business multiple times throughout your party. And you don't have to say, join me now on Tupperware. Oh my gosh, this is our say yes offer. Everything you see here on my table is part of my kit. Um, you can get this when you join us. It's the opportunity to make money with Tupperware. 
It's the opportunity to purchase at our cost. You want to throw those different things in. Also, you want to throw in different dating bids. What's a dating bid? Hmm, what does she mean? That means, oh my gosh, you love our power chef. When you have a few friends over, you could earn this free or half price. And when you're talking about, let's say I made tonight in my multi cooker, you can have a few friends over. I would love to show this to you and your girlfriends. I'm going to bring my Tupperware, you bring your friends, and we're going to have some fun in a recipe. You want to make sure you're throwing that in as you're using products that they can earn at half price or free so that they are wanting to have people over as well. And like Bonnie said, um, when they learn, they return and always leave them wanting more. So I always like to say, um, when I'm trying to get them back in, like, oh, and you're going to love my grill. I'm going to come over and we're going to have some pie. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to clean. I don't care if I cooked in the grill tonight and we made chicken. I have another recipe in my arsenal to make them want me to come back over. Or if I hear them talking about, we're just so rushed, the kids are do this, the kids are do that. Oh, well, do you guys like chicken fettuccine Alfredo? Oh yeah, but it takes too long. I've heard that said a hundred times since we've had that multi cooker. And I'll say, I can show you how to make it in 15 minutes. No, you can't do that. Yes, actually I can. And next Thursday, if you're free at 630, you have your busiest girlfriends over and I will show you how to do that in 15 minutes. And they're like, whatever. And they don't believe me because if you haven't done it, you don't believe it. I promise. So just some different ways to get them thinking without saying, will you date a Tupperware party? You don't want to do that. You want to fill the need of the person. Enough about that. So sorry. And then um, after the party, you want to make sure you're depositing all of your checks into your account. You want to enter the orders into my sales and then send a thank you note. What's that? Send something, snail mail? Yes, send them a thank you note, a handwritten note to them, thanking them for having the party. Trust me, it makes a world of difference. And then let your upline know who that one person is that you found that you want to join our team so that we can call together and get them excited about Tupperware. Because especially when you're new, maybe you're like, well, I really want to ask somebody to join me, but I don't necessarily know how to do it. Guys, it's part of your training for you to do calls with us, okay? And when it comes to entering the party orders, um, that's kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing um, that you can walk through with your um, recruiter or, again, your upline director. So just let us know. And this right here is pretty much a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Guys, just read through there. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then, again, if you have any questions, just give one of us a call. And who wants to make more money? We all want to make more money, right? Say yes. Woohoo, hands up. When you start to do your $1,500, once you hit that level, you start earning bonuses just for doing your job. Isn't that crazy? A bonus. So at $1,500, you're going to get to add that on. And the higher your sales climb, the more you make. And guys, this isn't something I know some other sales companies you have to maintain that for so many months before you get your bonus, yada, yada, yada. Not with Tupperware. When you hit $1,500 this month, you get a bonus. Let's say next month you do $4,000, you get $400. The month after that, you're back down to $1,500. You still get a bonus. So it doesn't have to be the same. It's when you hit it, you get it, which is fantastic. Because you know what? Maybe one day you get really, really sick and something happens. And you don't have to worry about rebuilding to that. Next month, you're doing great, 1,500, more bonuses. And speaking of bonuses, don't you want to bring friends in right here? See this big heart? I've been in that heart with my friend Bonnie even. We took a picture in it. And guess what? When you have friends in this business, it is more fun for everybody. And sometimes your friends don't come with you, but you meet new friends. And they're great too. Especially right now, you want to make sure you're bringing those new people on because we are earning that fabulous trip that it talks about here on page 31. We are earning that trip to Myrtle Beach and you wanna welcome those new team members so that you can go have fun at the Tupperware factory because it is pretty fantastic. 
And once you go there, you know what you're missing out on and you will want to go back every single time. And then you want to begin now sharing that opportunity. So many times I hear, well, I want to get acquainted with what I'm doing first. Guys, I've been here seven years and I'm still getting acquainted. I'm always going to be getting acquainted because I want to learn new stuff. So I don't ever want to think, oh, I know everything I need to know. I should probably recruit now. No, you're always learning because we're always getting new products. So you might as well just start sharing those products with everybody you know immediately. And you never know who needs Tupperware. Who needs Tupperware? And you never know who Tupperware needs. Um, when I first came into this business, I was super excited. And Bonnie and Cheryl and Claudette and Linda, they were all like, oh my gosh, you're like a breath of fresh air and you're so excited. And I was like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just doing my job. It's pretty cool. Things are great. I'm saving people money. I'm making money because I needed it. And I never really understood it. And now I do. I'm like, oh my gosh, when I see a new person come in, I'm like, oh, this is that breath. That's that fresh air. Like it's super exciting. And you never know who's going to ignite that spark for you. So bring in everybody. We will love them whether they stay for six months or they stay for 60 years. We will love them either way. But if you don't bring them in, you don't know what would have happened. And it's all about word choices. And I kind of do this one um, subconsciously, I guess. When I'm at events or when I'm at a party, I notice people and I notice things that certain people that other people don't necessarily understand or see. I will compliment people on earrings, shirt, shoes, whatever, but it's sincere. If I say, oh, I really like your shirt and that is the ugliest shirt that they own, they know that that shirt is not cute. I complimented somebody the other day. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like your shirt. And she was like, it's a towel. Like it was made out of towel material. I'm like, no, seriously, I like it. And she's like, I know, but why? <laughs> like, because I really liked it. And she got that message that I liked it. So they'll know if you're sincere or not. And then you want to incorporate after that. If you're in the cake aisle and somebody's looking to bake a cake, you incorporate that right in there. Oh my gosh, I have this wonderful piece of um, Ultra Pro that you can bake your cake right in the microwave. It doesn't stick. So using your words to just be sincere. And guys, here's what I can tell you. We have gotten away from voice to voice communication in this digital age. And I believe now more than ever, you can really boost someone's morale by simply being nice and talking to them and talking from your heart. So many people, they may say, oh, I'm a computer person, but they just want somebody to say, you know what? I see you took the time to put your makeup on today and you are looking fantastic because you've noticed them and you can really change their day. Even if they don't join you in Tupperware, they may have a party. They may buy something from you, but they will always remember the way you made them feel in that moment. Always. So never miss a chance to be positive. And then of course we have lots of other things because Tupperware um, wants to help you with your business. We have, um, they're called more benefits. You'll see them on their website. And it's also on pages 30 more and 35 in here. And we have messaging, um, which where you can send messaging calls. We have discounts to Staples, Vistaprint, Dell, HP, Southwest, you name it, it's in there. So make sure you're checking that out. We even have stuff for Uber. So if you're an Uber person, Tupperware is going to save you money. And then we also have some Tupperware lingo that I want to go over here. <laughs> so guys, it is a seal. Why is it a seal? You may ask because it seals your bowl. It's not a lid. A lid's just a cover, a seal. It goes on. If it is round, it is airtight and liquid tight. If not, it is airtight. It is sealed close. It is our multi-million dollar patented seal, okay? Call it a seal because that's what it is. And then also, we have a standard party. What is a standard party? It is a $500 party amount, okay? $500 is the standard party. So when we're talking that, you know what we're talking about. 
And there's other Tupperware lingo on here that you want to read and know what it is. But these four I felt were really important. And then we have the Tupperware Sales Week. If you guys have your calendar with you that came in your, um, your day book, it looks like this right here. Grab that out, flip it open, and the Tupperware Sales Week runs from Saturday to Friday. Let me, let's try to just find February here. Well, I have March. Oh, look, here's February. So it runs from Saturday to Friday is the Tupperware Sales Week. And then we also have the Tupperware Sales Month. Now, what does that mean? It does not mean that February starts on the 1st and ends on the 28th. No, no. In Tupperware world, the sales month starts on the, um, oh, there's no good way to say this, so I'm just going to tell you the date. It was January 27th, okay, was when it started. The end of the sales month is the last Friday, last Friday of the month. So in February, the last Friday of the month is going to be the 23rd. Now, the great thing about this date book that Tupperware has given you is that it is colored, color co coordinated, and all of your things are right down here. So definitely be using this until you get used to what we've got going on here. It also tells you when you're going to get paid, and it tells you when the first day of the sales month is too. So the last day of the sales month is always the last Friday of the month. So February 23rd is when you want to have your $500 in to earn your ultra or your um, vent and serve pieces for $50. That is the last Friday of the month is when you need that in February 23rd. Did I say that enough? February 23rd. Uh, because we want you to make sure you're getting all of the Tupperware opportunities that you have to get those products into your kitchen. And that brings me, uh, it's going to take me now to the, um, yes, the Confident Start program. But before I do that, I want to tell you that on pages 38 and 39 in this book are excellent um, things about our warranty. Please make sure that you read over that. If you have any questions, call one of us. Again, we will give you the answer that we feel is appropriate, right, wrong, or indifferent. So be checking that out and know that that really is a great guide and it shows you pictures and everything right there. And then in the Confident Start program, oh my gosh, don't you want to earn everything, including the cookware? Because say yes, please don't take the iPad. What I want you to do is save your money, buy an iPad and take the cookware for free. Okay. And then I want you to go through here and at each level, I want you to pick Oh yeah, sorry, I don't have my new one. I got the Laura one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, it is. It actually looks like a roadmap, and the reason I like the new one, that's why it's not here. It's like playing a board game. It's like, look at that. Looks like Candyland. It looks like Candyland on there. Um, so you want to go to each level and circle what you want at each one. And guess what? When you get to the one where it has the rolling kit bag and the tablecloth, you get them both. Both of them. You don't have to pick. Yay! So you want to make sure that you're earning all of your stuff in that Confidence Start program as well. And like Bonnie said earlier, please don't wait to start. Collect those five orders. And we do have that fabulous brochure that is ending. Collect five orders before that goes out because we want everybody to have a power chef. And if they just don't want to join us, they need to buy one. And then if you are looking to move up, you do have that career guide in there. And there are some excellent things in there to help you get started building your unit. Start on pages six and seven. It will tell you all about that. And then if that is something that you're interested in, please get with your, um, your manager or your upline director and we will walk you right through that and hold your hand and make sure that happens. We will work with you and put as much time into it as you're willing to put into it as well. So does anybody have any questions for me at all? Well, Brandy, we have to tell them that we are in this career guide because if they open it up to the page yeah. with the trips,
Um, it's really awesome because Cheryl and Dave, Brandy and her husband, Doug, and my husband and I, we're all in this picture when we went to Monaco. Yes, we went to Monaco, Italy, and Spain, and Tupperware paid for all of it, and it was amazing. So you, yes, can, it was. you can do it. You can do it too. So Absolutely. we're in this. <laughs> you know, it's, this is not the first time that Bonnie and I have been in stuff together That's or right. Bonnie alone. So we here, you guys have picked the right team. We are famous here in TriStar. <laughs> <laughs> because Cheryl taught us to be amazing and awesome. And so we have to be stars because that's our name. We are the stars from TriStar. And we always want to make Cheryl and Dave super proud. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So now we're getting a little corny here, friends, but Brandy, if you have more questions, you can take it away again. Yes. Does anybody have any questions at all? Okay. Well, we...